。加拿大將會喺未來嘅十八個月內禁止六種單次使用嘅塑料用品，以減少本國嘅塑料污染。而目前喺環境之中啊，多數嘅塑膠微粒咧係源於塑料垃圾嘅破碎同埋降解，咁能夠喺海洋、河流甚至係空氣之中揾到。咁塑膠微粒無處不在，因此人體攝入塑膠微粒咧在所難免㗎。咁究竟咁樣對於人體有啲乜嘢影響？又點樣可以減低攝入嘅份量咧？喺今晚嘅健康與你，我哋就請嚟專家為大家講解下。比斯大学海洋污染研究所研究助理 Juan Jose Alava 表示，科学家发现塑胶微粒能够喺人体肺部、血液、脑部，甚至系胎盘中揾到。根据摄入嘅不同情况而定，其毒性对人体可能带来短期或者系长期嘅影响。In terms of all the science that we know about persistent organic pollutants, know that they are immunotoxic. That means they affect the immune system, right?、Uh, they are also endocrine disrupting chemicals that affect the hormone. And... 塑胶微粒无处不在，科学家甚至喺北极海域都揾到佢嘅存在。人类摄入塑胶微粒在所难免。究竟人类嘅塑胶微粒摄取量有几多呢 ？And it has been documented that you and I either breathe in. Or swallow the equivalent size of one credit card worth of plastic every single week. Alava 表示，取决于摄入嘅微塑料嘅分量、形状同大小而定。人体有可能可以通过排便将其排出体外。微塑料喺体内停留时间越长，对人体嘅影响就越大。因此，佢建议可以从生活习惯上减少摄入微塑料嘅风险。Avoid to buy products that are wrapped in plastic or products that are basically contained in plastic. I think that's a, a first step. Uh, uh, in terms of the tap water, maybe use fil filters in your in your containers, right, to fil filtrate the water. Avoid or eliminate the consumption of, of water and plastic bottles. 好啦，今晚嘅健康与你就讲到呢一度。